Has NASA found the first example of extraterrestrial life? It's not the first announcement like this to be made, but is this time different? I'm Dr Chris Errol, a molecular biologist from Scotland. Let's take a closer look. We know that Mars used to have water on the surface, and that's important for thinking about the ways in which inanimate rocks and minerals might develop into living things like bacterial cells. In 2021, NASA managed to land another Mars rover onto the surface of the planet. This is called Perseverance. It's basically a remote controlled vehicle that can take a number of measurements and photographs. This is a selfie that the robot took. And I want to know, do they deliberately make these things look so cute? Because I think this is adorable. If you follow the links in my description, you'll find a website where you can look at all the pictures that this Mars rover has taken on the surface of the planet. So it also has some instruments for taking measurements. And there was an interesting rock found in what was once a riverbed many, many millions of years ago, but it's all dried up now. And they found a rock there which had some very, very interesting features that the scientists called leopard spots. And these were basically minerals, iron sulfide, some sort of iron phosphate. And on Earth, these would normally be associated with living processes like bacteria. So for this reason, they wanted to investigate it further and they did so using the instruments on board the rover. Now, what is interesting here is that on the balance of the evidence that they have so far, the scientists believe that this could be evidence of life. Importantly though, these minerals and structures can be formed in the absence of living things. But the scientists noted that these rocks haven't been exposed to the right sorts of conditions of temperature and acidity that would be required for these to form. And that's why they get so excited about this. Perseverance, this robot, has the capacity to collect these samples and place them in tubes and leave them on the surface, but then they need to be retrieved. And the only way we're going to know if this was the result of a genuine living process, life on another world, is when the samples are delivered back to Earth. 